Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another Batman Arkham Origins video and as I promised, I was going to be doing a breakdown of the teaser trailer that we got for the Expanded Story DLC, Cold Cold Heart. So let's get right into it. Right with this image here that we've started at, in the first second of the trailer, you can see that this is a spot in Gotham. And as you can see it, like, Mr. Freeze, where he is going, like, where he is, like, when he's on his way to, I guess, the Humanitarian Awards it is, he's kind of doing some damage to Gotham. So what I'm excited to see is when you're in this Expanded Story DLC, what the environment changes are going to be like. Because I know that one thing that they wanted to do with Batman Arkham Origins in the early stages of the development for the game was, like, a weather effect where some rooftops would be icy and it would cause Batman to trip or sometimes slip and and affect his combat which would be really interesting if they ended up implementing that into this DLC that would be really cool and uh, I have the slightest feeling they might do that but yeah I want to see what they do with the environmental changes and like how it affects the way Gotham is and how you can maneuver around it and you know, glide on, glide around in the city. I'd also just like to see how cool it ends up looking. You know, like what's the bridge gonna look like? Is it gonna be all frozen up? You know, and all all that type of stuff. I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like. So that's cool. You know, you can get so much out of something as little as this, right? So moving on. Now you're probably asking throughout the trailer if you're not that big of a Bat fan, or if you're not like huge into the animated series. But this person right here that's uh, talking throughout this like portion of the trailer this is Ferris Boyle now this is the guy in the animated series who is pretty much the main cause of what makes Mr. Freeze who he ends up becoming the villain he ends up becoming he's the one who pushes him in these chemicals that causes Mr. Freeze to you know have to or to to only be able to live in like a sub-zero temperature and all that right so the reason that um Freeze is busting into this this Wayne Manor and, to, and just destroying the ceremony is because he is there to get revenge against Ferris Boyle for pretty much ruining his life in a way. So yeah, this is Ferris Boyle accepting the Humanitarian Award, which is almost identical to what was happening in the uh, animated series. So that's really cool, right? Now there you got a uh, giant jawed Bruce Wayne and Alfred as they are um, congratulating Fair Spoil on his win with the Humanitarian Award and all that. As you can see, Wayne Foundation, Humanitarian of the Year. That's pretty cool. Shaking his hand. And shit hits the fan. <laughs> shit really hits the fan. As you can see, there's just ice everywhere. Freeze busts in, starts killing people left and right. And you're just watching them die. I can't believe it. It's insane. It's insane. What he does to this guy. What he does to that guy, that is the worst death. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the guy gets thrown and in midair gets frozen. That's so cool. I just, I can't believe it. And now as he's freezing people, we get this. Now look at that guy on the right. While well, it's a little blurry, when you watch the original trailer, when it's in its like smooth run time and all that, you see just the absolute maximum amount of just horrified expressions in these people's faces when they're watching Freeze walking and oh my god the way the suit looks it's very bulky and it's big and I've explained this in my um my thoughts in my trailer thoughts with uh, Nicholas Cortez it's my previous video for this you can check it out on my channel uh, we talked about how with it being so big, with this being so bulky, and the way he makes this direct approach at the humanitarian awards or the the ceremony, uh, it makes it seem that this boss battle is going to be very different from Arkham City's, where he's going to be much more direct and much more physical, and it's going to be much more of a one-on-one, -on -one, head-to-head -head battle rather than something where you're completely stealthy and all that type of stuff, and you kind of have to use your environment to your advantage and um, you got to use it in more ways than one, right? So you got to be all smart and tactical with the first battle. Well, this one will be more upfront and uh, physical, which I would really like because I want to see what they can do with that, you know? So that's really cool. And oh my God, with the looks on people's faces of just him walking, he looks so intimidating. And it's just him walking. I can't wait to see 
what he's going to look like in his full form. And speaking of which, we got the nice little tease of it here. You can't see much. You can't really make out much besides the fact that, like I've already said, it seems like a very big and bulky suit. So I can't really tell exactly what it's going to end up looking like. But from what we're seeing with the legs and with this little glimpse here, holy shit, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I hope it stays secret until like maybe a week or two before the DLC comes out because that's just going to keep me that's just going to keep me excited, that's going to keep me waiting, and that's just going to give me all the more reason to want to play the DLC, you know? I'm already sold. I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm back into Arkham Origins and everything. But oh man, this is going to be that extra little, you know, cherry on top. So I can't wait to see what he ends up looking like. Kudos to WB Montreal for making such a great teaser trailer. I loved it so much. I probably watched it like 14 million times at this point. But what are your thoughts? I want to hear them in the comments below. Cold, cold heart, as we were right when we guessed it or when we found it leaked long ago. It is about Mr. Freeze and his origins and I guess the first encounter that Batman has with him. And I am beyond ecstatic so i want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below i'm caboose xbl like favorite comment and subscribe see you guys later